Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am joined again by my wife, Brenna. Brenna, what are we looking at today? Because I think we got something exciting going on. Today we finally have something for me. What? Finally? We've okay. been looking at a bunch of stuff for you this year. Okay, well, <laughs> today we're looking at the Ariat Fat Babies. Let's get into it. Old boobs got soul and I carry on this way and we get better. Yes, this video is sponsored by Ariat, but it is also in our contract not to let that affect our review, but it's a major way that we can help keep the channel going. So huge thanks to Ariat for supporting the channel. All right. Whoa. Ooh, fat baby. It just says fat baby. And it has a picture of a fat baby wearing a cowboy hat. <laughs> nice. You should get that as a tattoo. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a chunky mama here. <laughs> a chunky mama? It's called a fat baby. <laughs> I, I feel like chunky mama is a synonym. I kind of like <laughs> chunky mama better for a name. It doesn't smell like a cowboy boot usually does. It smells like a foot locker. Yeah, it does smell like foot locker. <laughs> Let's jump right into the rundown for these fat babies. This I think is full grain leather. Mm -hmm. right? It's really punky. It's like yeah. a, it's like sort of grungy punk cowboy boot mix. I kind of dig the look, but I <laughs> don't know exactly what all it would go with. Yeah, it's got that like Doc Martin look with that cowboy shaft. That's a really side. good way to describe it. It does have a very Doc Martin cowboy boot fusion look to it. But I mean, check out the tread on this. It That's is an crazy. aggressive tread. This is their Everlon combo. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's uh, the EVA, which is the ethyl vinyl acetate. So it's like polyurethane, but I'm told it gives you better rebound. So, yeah. Whoa. You know, like <laughs> bouncy. You should rebound nice. And so it's the EVA and the blown rubber. This is a one and a half inch heel, which is a, a little aggressive for like the kind of boot that it is, but I mean, whatever. It's one of their most popular. It's a fleece line shaft, which is a little bit cheap, but probably pretty warm. Ooh, got down into the insole there. <laughs> oh yeah, how's the insole feel? It feels pretty good. I think this is their 4LR insole. You can mm -hmm. definitely feel it in the heel. The heel feels like very cushy and nice. I don't it's not removable. No, it's not removable. not removable. The 4LR is actually my favorite area insole, at least huh. in the men's boots. The uh, 4LR in the men's boots has like little bubbles at the ball of the foot that kind of waves up and down like that. It's really, waves really too. nice. Yeah, <laughs> it feels great. This does not have that though. Why they would do the 4LR different in a women's versus a men's boot. That's kind of weird to be like, this is our 4LR insole and then be like, women's. Well, they do have a bunch of different ways that they, I guess, put their technology into their boots. Like for example, they have technology Duratread outsoles, which looks different on nearly all of their boots, but it's just built using the same material. So they could probably do the same thing with the 4LR by use the same material, the same foam, but just make it a different shape because the 4LR in the men's boots is also removable, but this is a non-removable one. And okay. similar with other Ariats that use ATS insoles, sometimes they're removable, sometimes they're not like on your My booties. Black booties. Yeah. yeah, the Legacy Arto. Which yeah. I really like. Yeah, those are sweet. <laughs> and these are made in Indonesia, again, mm -hmm. one of their most popular boots, and these retail for, depending on like, the model that you get, the price, uh, can change a little bit. So these are between 70 and $100, which, I mean, that insole felt pretty nice. So yep. we'll have to see what they feel like. And there's also some models that you can get for over $100 that have steel toe. So these actually have work boot steel toe models that you can get as well. But not these ones. Not these ones. We these. didn't need all that. No, these are pretty light, <laughs> uh, just for rocking fashion style, uh, I think. Or if you're like, I think these are probably pretty water resistant, judging by judging by everything that they got going on. If we you got to like muck stalls or something and you just need something to throw on, they seem like a pretty good 
pair of boots. If you're on that like cement barn floor, you got a nice thick <laughs> rubbery sole here. Yeah, and these treads, Jesus, you're not going anywhere. All right, you ready to try these on and give us your first impression of these? To become the Doc Martin cowgirl that I was born to be? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm definitely not used to um, wearing like a larger toe. These are a, a U-toe or a wide round toe. Um, so there's definitely a lot more room in the toe box than I am used to, but I think that lengthwise they feel good. They definitely fit true to size. I'm a six and a half. These are a six and a half. They feel good that way. Um, definitely like some arch support going on, which I really appreciate with my feet. Uh, the insole in the heel feels really nice and I feel really like cushy. <laughs> I'm like bounce a little bit. Um, in terms of like bend, they bend really easily compared to something like the Bacestos that I have, which really are just like, they almost feel like a, a, a tough piece of cardboard that doesn't want to bend. These are not like that. This rubber sole is like, I'm like a sneaker. It's like very bendy, very happy to bend. Um, feels good. Lots of room in the shaft. I don't feel like it's tight at all. There's plenty of room to move around. You can really slip these on and go really, really fast. I don't think you really have to like work at all, but it is also a shorter shaft. So if you wanted to like wear it with leggings or jeans that would go over it, you definitely could. I have it on with some skinny jeans right now. It looks pretty okay if you're going for that like punky vibe, I guess. I'll be interested to see if the insole holds up through the extended test because Sometimes insoles are really good when you're just breaking stuff in, but it feels um, nice right now. So I, I guess we should uh, get into the extended test. We're gonna test these fat babies. Corn maze. Corn maze time, let's do it. This is the map, but we need the special red station to read it. Grab your pack and let's go back to the quiet and clear night. This way. I could use a break from making haste surrounded by city sights. As kayaks float in snow graces slopes I'm made to explore. So come with me and we'll be free to discover what it's our for. Let's find a wonderland. To Pacific Sands Let's find some strong ground to stand on Just because we can How sure are you? We got the map key. So that's what the map is. Put the map in. Whoa! Let's see, let's see. Oh, look at that maze. Nice. Which map is better? The one that's on that you had before or the one that you took a picture of? Oh, the one that's on my phone for sure. It has GPS. <laughs> Are we lost? Yeah, I remember being here. So pick a trail and forward your mail Cause we won't be back for a time On sunny days or when it rains There's no telling what we'll find From Canyon's Grand to Pacific Sands You'll always have my hand We'll be farmers tanning our feet up van Finding our wonderland Let's find a wonderland Mountaintops to Pacific sands Let's find some strong ground to stand on Just because we can
Yeah, we're out. We had a lot of fun at the corn maze. We did. And you wore these probably for an extra week after that. Mm -hmm. So what are your final thoughts about the Fat Baby from Ariat? I think that they are more durable than I thought they were gonna be. For a not advertised as being waterproof boot, I think they handled the mud well. Cause your feet didn't get wet. My feet didn't get wet at all. And I enjoy mud. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy stepping in mud, jumping and puddles. in puddles. <laughs> I enjoy all of that. So I did that in these boots and my feet didn't get wet. So that's a pro, I like that. And that was untreated. So we didn't do anything to the boots beforehand. Mm -hmm. The sole is not super durable. I wouldn't go rock climbing in these or anything. They're oh, okay. just wearing. It's kind of flaking off. I see what you're saying. Yeah, they just wear really fast. It is a pretty hefty tread. So you're going to, have to be doing some pretty serious stuff day after day. But for wetter environments, I think it's probably fine. Mm -hmm. They were comfortable. There's plenty of room. They're also super light. They are really light. Which I really like. They're easy to like toss on your feet, take off. How did they break in as you were wearing them over that week and during the excursion in the corn maze? They broke in really fast. Uh, there was one part where I got my foot actually stuck in mud. Like, you know, when your foot gets stuck in mud and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> but I noticed that this shoe after that was pretty loose mm -hmm. around my foot, just from getting stuck in a little bit of mud, so. And you tug at it and giving that leather a little bit extra stretch than this one saw because it didn't get stuck in the mud. Exactly. I don't know how I feel about that. They definitely break in fast. Maybe I would size down a half size. Um, mm -hmm. They fit well right out of the box. So maybe that should have been an indication to me of like, I maybe should have sized down so that when they do break in, they actually have that nice fit. I think that's totally a personal preference. I also like to wear thinner socks, so I could probably just wear thick socks to be fine. And how about for the price at like $90 for these? It's tough because I feel like you are getting a good product. 90 bucks feels a little high. It doesn't feel super expensive, but then I think about like, the alternatives. If I think about like the Alpha boots or like a fashion style boot, like a Michael Kors or something so they like that, then these feel actually right. Cause they are mm -hmm. better made than the Alphas. Like there are some basics that they do get right. So maybe I'm just feeling cheap today, but I mean. It depends on what you're looking for. Depends on what you're looking for. And if you're looking for a boot that you can do a lot of things with that is better than it sounds, then I think you can go for it. Hey, you get a sale. I think if you get them on sale, I think that's a good time. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, impressed with this. I didn't have very, I don't know, high expectations Me for either. a boot like this, but yeah. I'm glad that you've been wearing it as much as you have, because even when we weren't testing, you're just like, I'm just gonna throw these on and just cook something in the kitchen. Yeah. Like there was just a, a day where you're just cooking with these on. <laughs> yeah, I mean they are really easy to just throw on. There's no zippers, they're not made to be like a fancy boot. There isn't really a heel, it's more of a platform. And I don't really have a pair of like kickers. Mm -hmm. So these now are new kickers. Yeah, I like these. I don't think they're a bad value. I think you're definitely getting more than you think you're getting. Mm -hmm. If you guys are interested in checking out the Fat Babies, links are in the description. Huge thanks to Ariet for sponsoring today's video and to my beautiful wife, Brenna, for helping me out with this video uh, because it's always nice to switch it up a little bit and offer some different kinds of content on this channel. Let us know what you think of the Fat Babies down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and we'll see you next time. Peace. Mud it up in the fat babies or jump in the Mercedes and drive around town. All you ladies in the fat babies are already hustling when the boots hit the ground. Yeah. Ha. Thank you for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Huge thanks to Ariet for sponsoring this video. Why don't you subscribe while you're here? Or maybe check out some of my music at the links below. I'll see you next time.